Dito naman tayo sa another sample problem natin for LRFD load combination. So, welcome again sa virtual classroom natin. No? So, ito naman ngayon, ito yung sample problem natin. Medyo marami-raming loading na yung binigay. Na meron dead load, merong live load sa snow, live load na snow, tapos merong wind pressure, tapos uh, yun na. No? So, ito yung mga load combinations natin according to AISC. No? Pag gagamitin natin yung load and resistance factor design. Okay? So, pag itinan natin, meron tayong D na dead load. Walang binigay na L, no? Na live load na, ano, na specific talaga yung live load natin na snow. Tsaka merong wind pressure, okay? So, meron dito, meron tayong, uh, ito, wala, no? So, wala tayong, uh, crash out lang natin yung wala, no? Ito yung wala. Rain, uh, roof live load, wala din to. So, meron yung snow, walang rain, tsaka merong wind. Okay, so, yung E natin, wala na rin to, okay? So, pipiliin natin dito sa third, uh, pipiliin natin dito is yung S, 0.5, pipiliin natin dito is S, wala na itong R, tsaka LR. Tapos, dito naman pipiliin natin is W. Tapos, uh, merong wind, mer wala tayo dito, no? Pipiliin natin dito is S ulit, kasi wala naman yung iba. Tapos, dito E, tapos uh, dito pipiliin natin ulit yung uh, snow, Tapos dito naman, walang earthquake, okay? So, meron tayong anim na load combinations. Ngayon, titignan ulit natin kung uh, saan dito yung uh, mag yield ng mas malaking total load. Para yun na yung pipiliin natin na governing loading, okay? So, sa number 1, meron tayong uh, 1.4D, which is equivalent to 1.4 times dead load natin na 35, equal to, so, 1.4 times 35, That's 49. 49 pounds per square. Square diyan, no? hindi lang siya malagay natin yung square, okay? So sa number 2, meron tayong uh, 1.2 1.2 D plus uh, 0.5 S. 0.5 S. That's 1.2 times 35 plus 0.5 times snow na 21 which is equal to so meron tayong uh, 1.2 times 35 plus uh, 0.5 times 21 that's 52.5 pounds per square foot and then number 3 Meron tayong uh, 1.2 ulit plus ten number 3 no uh, 1.6s s tapos uh, meron tayong 0.8 na w okay so 1.2 times 35 plus 1.6 times 21 plus 0.8 times 15 15, di ba? Ito. So, resulta niyan, we have so, 1.2 times 35 plus 1.6 times 21 plus 0.8 times 15 equals 87.6 87.6 pounds square foot That's pounds number 4 Meron tayong ito. So, 1.2D plus 1.3. Meron tayong wind load. Tapos, uh, 0.5 na S. Diba? Ito yan, no? S. 0.5S. So, meron tayong 1.2 times 35 plus 1.3 times W na wind is 15. Plus uh, 0.5 times 21 na snow, which is equivalent to, so meron tayong 1.2 times 35 plus 1.3 times 15 plus 0.5 times 21. Snow is 21, so meron tayong 72. 72 pounds per, ay, no, uh, per foot square, okay? Dito naman tayo sa panglima, no? 
tapos na tayo dito, dito naman tayo sa 1.2D Okay, so 1.2 So number 5, you have 1.2D 1.2D plus 0.2S plus 0.2S which is equal to 1.2 times 35 Z times 35 plus 0 0.2 21 yung snow natin, di ba? And then we have 1.2 times 35 plus 0.2 times 21. It's 46.2 pounds per square foot. And then number 6, we have 0.9D. We have 0 0.9D plus yung uh, minus pala, no? So, minus pala ito dapat. That's minus W. 1.3 W. So, 1.3 W. That's uh, 0.9 times 35. Uh -huh. Mali. That's minus 1.3 times. Ano yung wind load natin? Wind load natin is 15. That's 15. So, we have 0.9 times 35 minus 1.3 times 15 meron tayong 12 pounds per foot square okay so meron tayong 46 taka 12 dito tapos titignan natin dito saan yung mga mas mataas ito yung pinakamataas yata eh, no? yung 87 yung 87 yung pinakamataas na load so ito yung masusunod na Loading. So, ito yung governing loading natin kasi ito yung maximum. 49.52, tapos dito sa next page ay 46 lang. Okay? So, the maximum loading or the governing loading is 87.6 pounds per square foot. So, ganun lang. No? Ganun lang yung pag-solve ng uh, load combinations ng LRFD. Sundin lang yung mga binigay na load combinations tapos titingnan kung saan dun yung mga available na, uh, na data. Okay? So yun, thank you ulit sa panunod and see you again sa mga next na discussions natin. Salamat.